Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of our podcast called The Motorcycle Podcast. I'm Saurabh and this is Bharat here and we will talk about some MotoGP highlights or some racing highlights in this episode. So let's start this episode after this intro. So welcome back guys. This is a short episode of something that I wanted to discuss kyunki MotoGP World Superbike season just ended and there were a few highlights and few surprises this season of the MotoGP uh MotoGP race weekend and season and the World Superbike race in season to chaliye baat karte hain is baar three to four important highlights ki jo MotoGP season mein hui hain and World Superbike season mein hui hain so let's talk about the first thing that happened where as all of you know or all of you who might be following MotoGP would know that Fabio Quartararo has finally won the MotoGP championship the first french rider to do so in a long time and last year you if you remember he was about to win hmm. but he in the end joan mir jeet gaya tha yeah. but this time last year ka pura badla lete hue he was fully confident vengeful he was vengeful <laughs> and fully dominant as he won the moto gp championship in style it's interesting to see that in a game in a sport which is mostly dominated by french and italian races yes somebody like from french french nahi spanish and italian oh spanish races. and italian sorry french to abhi aaya hai <laughs> spanish and italian races of course uh, recently sab jante hain uh, uh mark marquez of nah. course mark marquez used to dominate Even last last year covid started hua tha racing stuff dobara start hui thi yeah. mark marquez got injured yeah. and he was not able to fully recover this season yeah, yeah, yeah he came back but he was not able to fully recover this season and in his absence fabio quartararo dominated last year's first half of the season and this year the complete season so fabio quartararo was dominant he was one of the best racers most consistent racers throughout this, the season throughout the season this yeah. year उसके पास कंपटीशन था फ्रॉम स्पेशली फ्रॉम द डुकाटीज बट बट इवेंचुअली वी न्यू स्पेशली विद द फर्स्ट हाफ दैट ही हैड बिफोर द ब्रेक वी न्यू दैट ही वुड विन दिस इयर्स मोटो जीपी व्हाट यू व्हाट आर योर थॉट्स अबाउट फाबियो कार्तरारो ही लुक्स टू बी द वन फॉर द फ्यूचर आई थिंक या ही इज ही इज आई मीन द लास्ट टू सीजंस ही हैज प्रूव्ड हिमसेल्फ टू बी लाइक द टॉप कंटेंडर एंड दिस सीजन ही वन व्हिच इज अ बिग डील Uh-huh. like nobody has done that sort of a dominance in a long while apart from the french oh, boy spanish and uh, italian, italian riders of course yeah mark marquez was dominant and before he was dominant mark marquez as well but like itna nahi ki but he there was, was always competition from the always spaniards. competition with the spaniards yeah. uh, other spaniards and italians of course but mark marquez before the season started hmm. right uh, the job covid ke baad start hua tha we always thought that mark marquez ko agar injury nahi hoti he hmm. was one of the or the favorite for the last year's season as well true, 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 true. but suddenly he had a bad injury yeah. and uh, last season sab gaya and fabio cartararo was in fact leading the last season mm-hmm. but he then lost eventually because of joan mir mm-hmm. joan mir was consistent mm-hmm. he did not dominate but he was consistent, consistent. and he, he consistent and he won races. and he won the rider championship especially for suzuki which is a big deal for big suzuki deal. yeah and and this year cartararo was actually very confident from the beginning hmm. and he dominated the first half before the break hmm. second half he was consistent hmm. and he won it aur hmm. yamaha ke liye bahut achhi baat hai hmm. because finally yamaha was back on top yeah and uh, after the success so long of, after like tukati and uh, yeah, yeah. honda were like dominating so hard yeah, yeah, but yeah. like now yamaha is back in fact second half mein tukati gave a lot of competition tukati uh, always gives comp- lot of always always the because they are like, the, super fast yeah On the, a straight the, track, you can't defeat a Ducati. Ducati, Ducati yes, will definitely overtake. So, but uh, since Ducati was dominant, there were other riders as well hmm. who rode brilliantly. But this, right now, we must focus on Fabio Quartararo. The rider came from nowhere. Hmm. Had probably they did not. He did not have a racing background. I was reading about him. Hmm. He did not have a racing background, hmm. and to come from the ranks hmm. and suddenly go into MotoGP. And the top from motor, tier yeah, of racing. top tier of racing, and suddenly now, the winner and the way he's dominating, 
I think he is the one for the future. It's very natural in him. It's very natural. He's very I natural. Mean, the way that he goes about uh, the hits the corners, it's quite natural. Quite and nice. mostly the battles also between the Ducati and the Yamaha this season have been very good. So he was, of course, dominant. Uh, hmm. He he won most of the races, uh, hmm. and Bhadi. Some races he was tactical. He hmm. was patient as well. Hmm. A lot of the times last season. Hmm. he had trouble with the wet track because mm. he has not ridden he was he didn't he, he never had ridden mm. on the wet track mm-hmm. usne aaj tak kabhi nahi chalaya tha wet track pe and he mastered it as well mm. he he rode really nicely especially jab rain hui when Last he had to the race that we know who is great on wet tracks is i think mark marquez only yeah mark marquez was fantastic on fantastic. a wet track yeah. there are a lot of other other riders also even rossi was also fantastic on a wet track mm. but uh, the way he managed the season hmm. uh, on a wet track where he was not expected to win, win. because True. very less experience yeah, of yeah, riding yeah. a wet track but he came third in hmm. one of the races hmm. and he he was in the podium places in another race hmm. on a wet track so it was a fantastic uh, overall hmm. uh, performance uh, from uh, Fabio Quartararo and a brilliant brilliant way for Yamaha to return hmm. because Yamaha is investing a lot in MotoGP hmm. and uh, I, they also know that uh, even Suzuki also knows that Ducati mm. has a top speed and uh, they'll always be there as a competition but Yamaha has one of the best cornering speeds mm. and the one of the most stable bikes mm. in MotoGP so agar if there is a rider who can use that skill mm. to utilize the bikes especially in the corners mm. i think the most of the tracks are now suited for Yamaha's uh, Yamaha bikes riding capability mm. so usi ka fayda uthaya uh, Fabio ne and i think it was the dominant performance mm-hmm, and totally. uh, that is why i wanted to make this episode just to give credence to the fact that he is some someone who he i never brought, expected yeah <laughs> to come because i was always the last year mm. when uh, mark marquez got injured mm. there were a few people who were tipped mm. to be better mm. than fabio quartararo mm. uh guys like alex rins mm. uh, had a lot of uh, fan following True. guys like cal crushlow mm. was supposed to dominate mm. guys like uh, uh, australian rider uh, who's this australian rider i'm forgetting the name so all of these riders were pipped mm. to take a uh, move ahead mm. of fabio quartararo mm. but he showed that he can be dominant on that bike Mm. he can race on any sort of uh, condition weather condition mm. and he was truly one of me best riders and i think he would be the competition to mark marquez in the upcoming upcoming season upcoming but season. i think like the time for mark marquez has like a bit faded away in the last two yes, three seasons now with the injury now with the injury he came injury, back but he was not the same mark same marquez same mark marquez yes he was very uh, aggressive with his yes he is there, there. he was a bit aggressive yeah, as not a bit you know. <laughs> he was damn aggressive <laughs> so <laughs> mark marquez of course the age is not with mark marquez he's getting older he's he has he has had injuries it's not like that older uh, races he's not have like old old ha but he is he's getting yes. there lost his touch just a bit ha just a bit. and because of his aggressive riding style which he was he, inherently known for no, he is not doing that he is not doing that well he uh, came back he got injured we thought that uh, fabio will get some competition hmm. but eventually he raced he was the champion he raced he he was perfect in every race yeah, he yeah. managed every race brilliantly hmm. and he was the eventual winner hmm. so he just wanted to just wanted to give a thumbs up and to and to Ma, fabio cartararo similar thing happened in wsb case yeah, yeah we'll discuss it to thumbs up pehle to thumbs up de dena usko acche se because yeah, french yeah. rider after a long time, time french rider won, won. Yeah, yeah by the way and uh, after a long time a non italian and a spanish rider won i think last time kc stoner won uh, uh, that kitne yaad bhi nahi hai wo zamane ho gaye so he was the last australian rider non french mein yeah, yeah, who won yeah. to uske baad se एक नॉन स्पेनिश नॉन इटालियन राइडर हैज वन सो ग्रेट फॉर हिम ग्रेट फॉर फ्रांस एंड दे फाउंड न्यू सुपर स्टार एंड आई होप दैट ही विल कैरी ऑन विद यामा परफॉर्म्स द सेम बिकॉज लाइक यामा फॉर लाइक लास्ट फोर फाइव सीजन वी हैवेंट सीन अ 
good yes you have not seen a good, good performance good from yama yeah. and they have this time they have proved that uh, the if you are capable of handling that bike you will be able to make quite a good impact i think last was rossi only was taming yeah, yeah rossi was taming boy yeah ki because they have such good chassis hmm. agar if you know how to ride on the corners hmm. you will be great on that bike corners to like i'll give it to honda i think No, Honda and Yamaha both the very stable bikes in fact Yamaha is super they ha- the cornering speed is of Yamaha is super uh because they have introduced that technology hmm. in uh, in their uh, street R1 bikes as well R1 as well we'll hmm. talk about that baad mein so hmm. first thumbs up to Fabio great performance excellent result and a great win so let's talk about abhi jo Bharat baat kar raha tha similar sort of thing happened in World Show bike Again, the bike was Yamaha. Oh, yeah. Again, the bike was Yamaha, and again the rider was unexpected. Jonathan Ray was the dominant force in World Superbike, hmm. and he was in the first half. He was winning. Hmm. But if you have followed World Superbike, follow kiya hai, you must have known that now. Top rack Rasgat Lyoglu, a very tough name, a Turkish rider, has finally won the World Superbike Championship. Or I think seventh championship. उसने नहीं जीतने दी जॉनथन रे को, because yeah. of the much more consistent second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he performed fantastically well. Again, Yamaha. This time, Yamaha R1 won the, the World Superbike Championship. In these races, is that you have to be like consistent. Consistent. You yes. don't have to go for all out battles. And I think that Toprak. I think Jonathan Ray was because dominant in Haan. the first half, especially. Of so course. we thought again. The seventh championship is coming, and yeah. his dominance is there to hmm. see everyone, us, uh, everyone to see. But eventually, what he was that since Toprak was consistent, he was consistently coming yeah, in the yeah. podiums. But from, also the fact that he Jonathan was not. I mean, he was missing in a couple of. Yeah, 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 a few races, but he was completely yeah. out. Yeah, uh, due to some mechanical failure, or he was not able to get his uh, dynamics correct. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. he was completely out and. Uh, top rack was there in almost every race, every race. he, he was, was there in uh, there about in podiums so he collected a lot of points consistent points collection se yahi hua ki eventually top rack won yeah. and by the way like uh, fabio ye this is the first moto g this is the first major the, title for any turkish rider. sportsman or yeah. rider so huh. this is a turkish guy he's fantastic this is a fantastic win for turkey or uh, I don't think we have seen any sort of two first timers from yeah. Turkey. Yeah, huh? two first timers this time, yeah. and both on Yamahas. Yeah, one on the MotoGP bike, one on the R1, hmm. and this is a brilliant uh, year for Yamaha, hmm. uh, winning both the uh, both riders championships, and um, great for both these guys, Fabio and uh, Toprak, who won the respective uh, top tier motorbike, motorbike races. Bike. And in fact, W S B K has such a lot of competition at this time. Pe. Hmm. to win from that competition hmm. uh being consistent hmm. shows the capability of that rider and i think in the future also this rider you need to look out for this rider because the way he handled that yamaha r1 hmm. was phenomenal yeah uski handling ki wajah se he was always there on the podium hmm. he never he was never aggressive hmm. exactly koi yeah. you he don't meant... have to be aggressive all the time you just know yes. you have to pick your battles otherwise you lose the front end yeah. or the back end and then you crash yeah तो वही दिक्कत थी और ये इतना कंसिस्टेंट था डिड नॉट लूज फ्रंट एंड बैक एंड ही वाज एबल टू मैनेज द बाइक वेल ऑल थ्रू आउट द रेस दैट इज ही वाज कंसिस्टेंट एंड ही वन द चैंपियनशिप एंड इट्स ग्रेट फॉर हिम तो अगेन वी वांटेड टू मेंशन हिज नेम तो अपराक रास गातली ओगलू व्हिच इज मुझे प्रोनाउंस इसका प्रोनाउंसिएशन सीखने में कम से कम छः महीने लग गए ही इज नॉट इवन ट्राइंग बट मुझे छः महीने लग गए ये सीखने में But fantastic performance by Toprak and uh, best of luck for him. Yeah. Best of luck for the future. Yeah. Man. And uh, great. So these two were the race wins. They now we're going to talk about the third topic, just close to my heart, because finally, after forty-two long... years of age, <laughs> and he reached forty-two years of age, and after a long, 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 long... career in <laughs> yes. GP. Motor Moto GP racing finally. Yeah. The doctor retires. Retires, and uh, emotional for few. 
eventually came on the podium after a long time yeah and uh, just a time had come it because it was about time for the old man it was about take. time because he was he was not getting the feedback and the consistent performance out of the bike he the, was consistent no, he was consistent no doubt he, he was, was consistent. consistent but uh, recent years uh, hmm. five six years mein ye ho gaya tha ki the way he wanted the bike he was not getting that bike especially from yamaha so he he, he once tried hmm. to shift to ducati but now at this age i think he thought let me just give a chance to yamaha and let's see if they can produce that bike but over the years since they were not able to go with his specifications i think he he, he tried i hard. think it's not about the specifications per se i think uh... the competition evolved a lot the competition also evolved a lot the bikes evolved a lot bikes evolved a lot it's completely yeah matlab his bike also evolved a lot i'm not like denying that fact i criticize rossi a lot for this but again uh <laughs> yeah i don't criticize you <laughs> nahi mark mark is fan forever That's so like <laughs> so why the competition evolved so much that the races around him are very young and hmm, the people that he's competing with are very very aggressive mm. doctor is not that aggressive he is a master he is a master of controlling controlling the race, the race. so yeah. the thing was but huh. why so of course see there are rossi most of them are rossi fans there are a few haters as well the mark marcus fans of course so mere liye special hai rossi because i started watching racing in 2003 and mm. since then rossi was there 2000 was rossi's decade Hmm. One almost every year, and uh, even he was, the last decade also was. He was super. He was he was dominant. super, and uh, he he was the man. Uh, उसकी वजह से there were fans thronging to MotoGP. True. There was there was excitement about MotoGP, and uh, he was there in the front front, the face of MotoGP for a long time. He still was, hmm. and uh, eventually. when he started to introduce his teams hmm. in the MotoGP championship yeah. he is team which o- now he is he's a team on. owner as well yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, after that i think he started to shift his focus towards developing teams and riders for MotoGP and future races so so i think uh, he was a true champion hmm. won everything he is a legend like legend of the sport hmm. and uh, of course uh, we would like to have seen him for some time more but i think time aa gaya tha uh, since at least for the last 3 4 years everyone was talking about his retirement hmm true and uh, eventually he retired on a good note he was on the podium hmm. and uh, he celebrated moto gp celebrated his retirement uh, with fantastic videos yeah. of his iconic races hmm. which i have seen them live but i'm not live live on tv <laughs> and uh, I, I think want, we'll I always the... I've always wanted to go to a MotoGP race where Rossi was racing in fact Malaysia was his one of his favorite circuits hmm. and Malaysia Sepang circuit was really close to India and I wanted to go but the plans got cancelled hmm. two three times but uh, it was been great I've never seen him live hmm. because I've seen a live F1 race and it is fantastic hmm. but koi baat nahi uh we have seen him live we have seen him win races championships hmm. he's a fantastic ambassador for the sport Yeah, he has it. Has his. He had rivalries. He won all those rivalries, and uh, eventually, Mark Marquez के साथ पहले दो सीज़न में तो जीता ही था. हाँ uh-huh. हाँ. Uh, and uh, he he was eventually uh, probably one of the greatest racers of all time, at least for the modern era. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he will be there. Uh, he has lot of teams now, and he will be mentoring those teams. and seeing them through hmm. so aisa nahi hai ki wo completely he is he's gone away gone out of the race uh, like, circuit yeah, he would be there because uh, he would be some sort of a brand ambassador for moto gp because he's still loved by a lot of fans yeah. uh, moto gp makes no, actually a, he has developed that kind of infra around him that yes. he, he has to be and moto gp wants someone like him, him to, to develop give, yeah more racing he's infrastructure he's an expert he's the doctor yes yeah, so, so again he'll prove it of course so he he would be there mm. in some capacity because moto gp mein there are a lot of infrastructure development required mm. there's a lot of racing development required race racing because championship like, there are 
not a lot of academies who train yes. youngsters. Yes, he has his own academy. Throughout the world. So, talent acquisition is very important mm-hmm. as well in this kind of sports. So, he has his uh, Moto Ranch, which is very famous. And yeah. his VR6 Academy is also. Yeah, yeah. Which develops a lot of riders which are riding hmm. uh, on the current MotoGP circuit. So, hmm. he will be there in some capacity. He's not going anywhere. But as a racer, he retired. And it was time. Hmm. But we had good memories. Uh, we started watching MotoGP because of him. and we got interested in bike racing because of him yeah. and that number got number was iconic 46 and it was there i uh, think i have seen plenty of yamaha bikes with the 46 sticker yeah because the they cars. used a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> they they utilized rossi in in his entire career yeah, yeah and yeah. now that he's uh, linked to ducati yeah. uh, his team is linked to the, let's see what happens but uh great for him uh wish him all the best and uh, hopefully we'll see him in some capacity in moto gp or any sort of racing yeah. because world superbike moto gp both are run by dorna motorsports hmm. so if he becomes a consultant to dorna or becomes a brand ambassador for dorna we'll probably see him yeah in all sorts of races hmm. and he wants to uh, probably go into car racing as well in some capacity he did yeah, yeah. did it for a while i think he wanted to go one time hmm. ferrari wanted him hmm. but uh, he never was inclined towards it eventually i don't know whether he's like no ferrari wanted him amala ferrari was really interested in brand building okay. along with him but eventually it did not happen but i think in some capacity he would be involved in car racing as well because at heart he's a racer and mm. he, he has the expertise to develop infrastructure and riders to 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 create that racing mentality mm. out of riders mm. so eventually he would be there and uh, we would See up next season, may we'll see ki a kis capacity may he would be there, hmm. but hopefully uh, we'll see it, see him in some capacity. So hmm. fantastic. We'll miss the battles though. We'll miss the battles, the legendary Casey Stoner battles and all. Casey Stoner. Ha, <laughs> uh, Casey Stoner battles. They are all there, by the way, in MotoGP ke recent YouTube channel me, uske tribute videos me. Ha. They have added those races ha. and they have uh, cut them short. and you'll see the best moments of valentino rossi in the moto gp channel you can check it out yeah uh, so this was the third uh, major news that came out of the season and the last and the final major news that came out of the season was the pledge from donna motorsports on hmm. moto gp to go into cleaner fossil non fossil based fuels yeah yeah, yeah. there's a very interesting pledge taken by the moto gp uh, racing community and organization and uh, they'll be shifting to cleaner fuels they already have a moto e race mm. which is a battery operated race mm. separate race which runs and uh, they are planning to uh, shift to cleaner fuel which is non fossil based to yeah. reduce pollution. pollution they've taken a pledge to uh, to shift to this fuel by 2027 I think yeah. so hopefully they'll be able to do that and Way before that huh. they're actually doing it right now only as we speak as we speak it is the, the percentage is going up huh, yeah. the percentage of mixture is going up yeah. uh, we're not very aware of what kind of substance are no using. right now we but, are not aware uh, but hopefully we'll get more information yeah. on that and we'll be able to tell you much more about that fuel because we will we are thinking of making a uh, podcast on fuel as well Hmm. and we will be focusing on all of these variety of fuels ki kya kya fuel technology would be available yeah. in the future so we will tell you about that fuel but this is a very important step towards green mobility hmm. which they had spoken about in their recent video which hmm. i saw on the moto gp website hmm. you can also check out that video it explains uh itna hi ki they are shifting to that we, uh, newer fuel hmm. but they have not talked about any details in that regard but koi baat nahi uh, we'll get more details as we move along or uh, this is good for the environment and uh, for the future of racing because kab tak hoga ki unhi bikes aur unhi cars mein racing hoti rahegi cars are in fact uh, in more formula 1 also hmm. uh, there are they are shifting towards uh, e technology hmm. lot of these cars are now hybrids yeah yeah, yeah. lot Most of these of cars are now hybrids hmm. the half uh, uh fuel hmm. mixture with along with a battery operation a hmm. battery operated car so bikes may be ye change aa raha hai there you can see a lot of uh, technology uh, which we now you see with moto e as well hmm. so hopefully fim and everyone uh, takes a pledge and we move to better cleaner fuels or this is a good news 
for the environment as well as the technology as well true so uh, hopefully we'll see much more competition now with this technology and let's hope much more competition and a very safer way to safer way to you know, run the bikes run the mar- so, otherwise it we we don't want to see the combustion engines go extinct yeah it, so it's a catch catch it's a catch to yeah. situation let's see what happens uh, next season mein ya pata lagega because they have already started testing uh, bikes both in world superbike and moto gp for the next season yeah and let's see what happens in the next season uh, abhi tak abhi to kuch clearly pata nahi hai and we hope that the next season is uh, quick fast competitive mm-hmm. and we see new winners and new riders uh, in the next season hopefully some new and fresh names yeah. from new countries as well this is bar turkey ko aur france ko representation mila mm. it's good to see and uh, soon we will hopefully we will see someone from india as well there are some talented riders out here aur ho sakta hai wo bhi kisi sort of racing mein part le and uh, jaisi bhi news aayegi we'll keep you informed mm. you can check out every detail in fact uh, you can check out if you want more details about the career of all these riders we have a blog which is there on our website motorcycle.com Yeah. you can check out that blog there are much more details on this topic and you can read and ask us any sort of questions from that blog you can check out our rest of our content as well we have a lot of content and uh, you can follow us on social media mm. you can keep on updating about all of this content and we will bring you more such episodes in the future uh in fact uh, let me remind you ki future mein you will see a lot of guests as well so keep watching keep listening to our podcast which is called the motorcycle podcast and try to follow us on whatever platform you listen to your listen to your podcast from a core reminder we are there on amazon music and alexa support and uh, we are there in other major platforms as well and of course on youtube links all in the description our yeah, links would be all in description jahan bhi aapko dekhna hai you can go ahead and watch otherwise ओपन एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ पॉडकास्ट ऐप टाइप मोटरसाइकिल पॉडकास्ट और वहाँ पर हमारा पॉडकास्ट शो हो जाएगा तो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट एपिसोड में गाइज दिस वॉज अ शॉर्टर एपिसोड एंड विल सी यू द नेक्स्ट मन टिल दे इट्स बाय फ्रॉम मी गाइज सी यू सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट मन बाय